So guys, it's time to move on. We're tearing everything apart and let's see where this goes. So guys, Brian from MVK Reptiles here. Now, you might think that it's the end of an, of an era, it's the end of the industry, but it's com the completely opposite. It's never gonna be negative here at MVK Reptiles, it's only gonna be positive. But it is an end of an era for me because we've actually decided to destroy uh, some of the first cages that were ever built here at our current facility in MVK Reptiles. So these were built by my dad, Naren, like back like probably like in 1999 so they were the first cages back then we used to have a ton of big burmese pythons and red ticks african rocks and a bunch of different things but the market evolves all the time and the fact that we're an actual like more of a wholesale company because like we always used to supply our wholesale company for the pet store trade uh, in primary uh, efforts we decided you know what like we always have to adjust ourselves accordingly now uh, the truth is that not maybe we're not doing any burmese pythons maybe we're not doing any red ticks because they're a little bit more complicated and the fact that we have to train pet stores employees and everybody else to uh, sell these animals properly uh, we actually leave that to specific breeders we're not going to compete with breeders that actually uh, do these things right and I mean there are a ton of those breeders that produce like giants or other animals that we actually don't that uh, do it the right way so they will like either supply the client directly or go through the whole process because sometimes you do need permits you do need a bunch of everything but this is the truth behind everything you know so we go through demolishing everything, changing everything. And what am I gonna do? Honestly, right here, right now, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, with the market evolving how it is, I mean, with the COVID times where everything went crazy, people were buying animals at top, top dollars. We're actually going back down to probably about 10 years ago. Now, 10 years ago, the market was different. There was a lot of more uh, cheaper end animals and a little bit more volume. Well. I do see the volume going up, but the profit margin is going down. So we're just like restructuring, making sure that we're not wasting time, wasting money on a lot of different, a lot of things. So we're just concentrating on our own facility and everything that we do also concentrate on our wholesale side and work from there. So we're definitely taking that step forward uh, where I'm going to be going. I'm not too sure yet here what's going to be happening, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Um, I'm always excited to change things around. Everybody knows um, Erica's filming right now. She's been with us for so long, but she's seen this place grow from nothing to what it was and then probably taking it all apart and then starting it back up again. You know, from breeding chameleons, uh, from breeding bearded dragons, from breeding giants, from breeding so many different animals that we just change as, uh, as we go. We always like to add new things and work from there. And then we go that but right now our goal is really to concentrate on what we do best now what we do best is breeding colubrids breeding ball pythons and breeding our leopard geckos now those are our main three we do have a lot of our boas and then uh, that we are maybe like uh, going to be working on them a little bit more during the next few years like we have some higher end animals that we're doing and then we also do a lot of our rodents so our rats and our mice now the rats and mice are really important for us because we want to supply our own feeders uh, to our own breeders to make sure that they are the best quality animals to produce quality in quality out that's how we roll so that's really the the, the direction that we're going we believe the industry is strong and it's going to be just increasing uh, drastically towards the next few years so don't give up guys work hard play hard enjoy your time Enjoy the passion. I mean, uh, those struggles sometimes are actually like the most uh, important times because those struggles make you go back to where it all started. It makes you resource to where everything is. And that's basically a little bit of where I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we're doing. So um, let me know in the comment down below uh, where you guys are taking your collection. Are you buying more animals or are you concentrating on what you're doing? 
uh, if you're a breeder or if you're just a pet owner at home like where are you directing yourselves I believe that there's gonna be a lot more reptile owners in the near future because I believe that buying dogs and cats are so expensive and basically to uh, reduce that amount like I mean people still need their pets and reptiles are amazing pets I always tell all the families and everything for me it's one of the best pets to start off so until then guys I hope you like these little videos it's just a little uh, video just to show you guys a little bit of what's happening here at MB Caraptiles. We know we like it raw and I said, you know what, if I'm taking a zip saw and I'm cutting down all my cages, uh, yesterday I wasn't in boot and got everything done, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of where we're at. So we got to take off all that garbage to our container and start cleaning up. There's going to be a lot of cleaning up. So until then, thank you again for watching the videos. Talk to you next time. No stress.